Hey, I'm Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and today we're in West LA at the season two premiere of Kingdom. Hi Rachel. Hi Rachel, nice to meet I'm you. I'm nice to meet you. I feel like about you. Um, a sweet. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I don't know where. What sweet are your earrings? Thank you. A little skull. You smell really good, by the way. You smell like pink sugar. Should we do this? It is pink sugar. Okay. It is. I totally knew it was pink you sugar. Do, are you like a sommelier? You do wines and perfumes. I do like to smell people, and I do usually can uh, well, name the set. Let's talk about each other this whole interview. Okay, can I tell you how sweet your teeth are? Yeah, no, that's fine. And I literally earlier was just doing, like, arm raises so I could do that. Although, can we just hulk it? Can we hulk a shot right here? I know. I, I mean, I feel like I can... Yeah. So you are... Yeah, all the push-ups? I got out of the car. I, did, I knocked out about 20. <laughs> So, so I can walk the carpet and... Be like, they're toned, guys. Yeah. They're toned. Just, yeah. So, you I don't are, know if you heard me counting. I did over a, I did over a thousand. You're impressed, right? Yeah. So, I'm super impressed. Should, did we just become best friends just I now? think we did. I think we did we'll with our T-Rex. Have you done? No, we're our favorite animal is a velociraptor, right? Right, of course. Duh. Duh. Um, so you smell like pink sugar. Yep. You are legit. You're way too legit to quit. You're also the only female trainer on the show. Yeah. So feminism is a huge thing right now. So yeah, it's ongoing. In your career, um, do you have any advice for other ambitious women in their career, no matter whether that be um, just on TV or whatever they're doing that you could shed and give to us a little bit? You know, How are the ladies? Yeah, you know what? This might be too philosophical of an answer, but this is what I got, Rach. Give me it. I feel like as a woman, we have a tendency to be the caretaker, to lean into someone else's space, to nook to them and kind of manage things and make that work. That's, it's a part of our beautiful makeup. It's what makes us amazing as friends, as parents, as sisters, all that stuff. Um, to build your strength, to start to kind of root yourself in your life in your career in your relationships let people come into your space a little bit more right we always lean we always give a little bit more than maybe feels right or than we need to to make that work let people come closer to you let people move at your pace be there be caring greet them with open arms but let them take a step towards you because it's very easy to go and try to be this person that wants to please and wants to help. And, wants totally. to, and that's not bad. I, lo I mean, this is me 100%. I love those qualities in women. It's what makes us women. Yeah. Right? These amazing, strong, beautiful human beings. But stand your ground in that way. I really respect that answer. I've asked quite a few women that. And I think it's very true. We have a tendency to over overcompensate, overstep, over overgive. Well, and, and, and I don't know. Is it, is it overcompensate or is it... You know, is it in a way that, um, like even in a conversation, I feel like everything's going so fast these days, we, we try to expedite, we don't want to lose your attention, so I want to talk fast, I don't want to wave my hands and be really attentive. It's like, I'm not going to expire. What I have to say is important. Listen, lean in, I'd love you to hear it. If no, it's okay. Does that kind of make sense? No, it's phenomenal. Like, yeah. you have such great, no wonder you're on the show as the only <laughs> female trainer. You have such like great energy and light Thank that you're just you. sharing. What was uh, what was one of your favorite days of filming? Just being the only trainer female in a gym full of men, like obviously that must be really empowering for you. Oh God, you know, it, I think, ooh, uh, my favorite day of filming. Or the most recent day of filming that meant something to you. That's probably easier. We recently had a workout, last chance, you know, the day of the weigh-in. And uh, we were limited on time. Of course, like this is, a, this is a reality show. This is real life happening. Yeah. But we've got this whole crew that makes it happen. Yeah. An amazing crew. And there's a break schedule that needs to happen, right? Yeah. And so I've got production saying, got, Jen, we've got 10 minutes and we got to cut this workout off because we got to break everybody for lunch so they can yeah. eat and take care of them. And let me tell you, this is an ugly workout. I personally, if someone had asked me to stop, I probably would have. And my team wanted to keep going. It was lunchtime, crew was gone. They're like, we're gonna finish this thing. And I'm like, this is like week two. Are you, like, here are people that haven't worked out in years that have really kind of lost their way. And in that amount of time, they're, they're, they're taking on this empowerment, this strength, this willingness to go. They're like, we don't need the cameras on to push us. And they made that choice. And it's kind of, it was just like, whoa. 
you know, you don't need the show to keep going. They're, this is a journey for themselves. And it happened so early on, and I think for me that was a neat moment. It made me feel like there's a real connection, and I don't know, I'm, we're on to something, you know? So, Absolutely. congratulations on everything, so and I look forward to seeing everything yeah, great Janu that you're going to do. January 4th, get ready. It's going to be a season. It's going to be a season. All right, all right. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you've seen, like, subscribe, and comment below with what your MMA fighter name would be. So we're getting ready to interview Jennifer, who's one of the female trainers on the show, and she's from The Biggest Loser, and her arms are ridiculous. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to do some, some quick curls before I have to talk. I don't think it's going to help, but I think it makes me feel better a little bit.